NCLEX review. Here are five hardest NCLEX RN questions and answers with rationale. Let's see how many you can score. Let's start. Question one. A nurse is caring for a patient who's been diagnosed with myasthenia gravis. The patient is scheduled for a Tensilon test. Which of the following medications should be readily available during the test? Is it A, epinephrine, B, atropine, C, diazepam, or D, naloxone? Answer. The correct answer is B, atropine. Rationale. During the Tensilon test, edrophonium is administered to diagnose myasthenia gravis. This drug can cause cholinergic crises, including bradycardia and bronchospasm. Atropine, an anticholinergic, should be available to counteract these adverse effects. Question 2. A nurse is providing discharge teaching to a patient with newly diagnosed type 1 diabetes mellitus. Which statement by the patient indicates a need for further teaching? Is it A. I will need to take insulin injections for the rest of my life. B. I can eat whatever I want as long as I adjust my insulin dose. C. I should monitor my blood glucose levels several times a day. Or D. I should carry a source of fast-acting sugar with me at all times. Answer. The correct answer is B. I can eat whatever I want as long as I adjust my insulin dose. Rationale. While insulin dose adjustments are necessary, a balanced diet is crucial for managing diabetes. Eating indiscriminately, even with insulin adjustments, can lead to poor glucose control and complications. Education on dietary management is essential. Question 3. A nurse is assessing a newborn who is suspected of having congenital heart disease. Which of the following findings would be most indicative of this condition? Is it a capillary refill time of 2 seconds? B. Bilateral crackles on auscultation. C. Central cyanosis. Or D. Heart rate of 140 beats per minute. Answer. The correct answer is C. Central cyanosis. Rationale. Central cyanosis indicates insufficient blood oxygenation, a key sign of congenital heart disease. It is more specific and concerning than other symptoms like crackles or an increased heart rate. Question 4. A nurse is caring for a patient with chronic kidney disease, CKD, who is being evaluated for the initiation of dialysis. Which of the following lab values is most critical for the nurse to review before the procedure? Is it A, hemoglobin, B, serum potassium, C, blood urea nitrogen, bun, or D, serum creatinine? Answer. The correct answer is B, serum potassium. Rationale. Hyperkalemia, elevated serum potassium, can be life-threatening and is a common complication in CKD. Dialysis helps remove excess potassium, preventing dangerous cardiac arrhythmias. Question 5. A patient with a history of congestive heart failure, CHF, presents with worsening dyspnea and new-onset confusion. The nurse assesses the patient and finds jugular venous distension, JVD, and a blood pressure of 8854 mHg. Which intervention should the nurse prioritize? Is it A, administering a diuretic, B, starting a dopamine infusion, C, placing the patient in a high Fowler's position, or D, obtaining an arterial blood gas, ABG analysis? Answer. The correct answer is B, starting a dopamine infusion. Rationale. The patient's symptoms suggest cardiogenic shock. The priority is to stabilize hemodynamics, and a dopamine infusion will increase cardiac output and blood pressure, addressing the immediate life-threatening issue. On a scale of 1 to 5, how many did you score? Feel free to drop a comment sharing your correct answers. Hope you've gained some valuable insights. Until the next video, take care and goodbye.